It was all UW Oshkosh in the WIC semifinal on Friday. Jonah Reinfleisch just flush started the party as the Titans opened up on an 18-0 run and just refused to look back. They were full of energy, baseline to baseline, 42 points in the paint. The white and gold had everything going for them. Everything was rolling their way, never leading by less than 11 after the first seven minutes of the game. And Oshkosh didn't just win. They sent a message rippling across the country as they beat down the UWO player Blue Golds by 20 points, 82 to 62, and now we're here. Welcome to the Colf Sports Center for the WIAC Championship. Welcome back to Kenosha, Wisconsin, here at Historic Simmons Field. 1-0 ball game, pitcher's duel thus far between the Kokomo Jackrabbits and the Kenosha Kingfish. It's Jay Bashir, Zach Perinci, and Connor Hinks due up for the fish. Reagan Rivera still up on the mound. Let's learn a little bit about Reagan. He's got a fastball, curveball, slider, and changeup mix. The fastball is going to creep up to about 87, 88. Sits around 86 majority of the time. So we've got some cool on-field promotions going on here. Titan football is back. Welcome to J.J. Keller Field here at Titan Stadium for week one of NCAA Division III football competition. The UW Oshkosh Titans will take on the East Texas Baptist University Tigers in week one. Corey Sparks on the call for play-by-play. -play. And Michael Stenslin alongside of me to my left, calling color. Down low work by Borchert. A little mismatch there between him and Derisaw. We'll see if he exposes it. Borchert will look as far away from the basket as possible before doing uh -huh. some errant pass there. And Torin Hanna snatches it out of the air. Two-point game here. Hanna's going to slow it down. More work around the perimeter. There's Noon. Matt Lewis a little red in the face after that turnover. Felt like Borchard had an optimal matchup down low, to say the very least. Ethan Anderson up top, been pretty quiet so far. Wide open from the outside, J.J. Pater. The Titans got away with that one. You cannot leave them that wide open. Back and forth, slicing and dicing by Hunter Plowman. Finds the open man in the corner, it's Mahoney. Three, don't sleep on me. 0-1 count with two outs, one on. That one's Drake Herrera. Ball one up and away, 1-1 one, one count. And if you look at Herrera on first, he takes a weird lead. It's not even his secondary lead, it's his primary. He's putting both of his, you know, the toes on both of his feet, just directing straight towards second. He's turning his whole body facing towards second base, so all of his weight is shifted on that front foot. Ball two, up high once again. And Herrera will do that every single time when he's on base. He did the first time he got on, he's doing it here. Gets set, everything is conventional. As soon as Mr. Jacob for Battle Creek gets set on the rubber, those feet, this is getting checked on, will turn. So Schwalbe was trying to get out of there after making that catch, and I guess he just took a little bit too long. The offense got set. They called 12 men on the field. So that'll make it first and 15. Oshkosh starting at their own 36. Berghammer shotgun. Stewart to his left. He'll roll left. Now we're going down the field, and that one is picked off by Trent Scott. A sophomore from Grand Prairie goes up and gets it. The first big shot down the field for Oshkosh doesn't go too well. Corey had him too, and that's the disappointing part for Oshkosh is, is um, you know, he beat his man on the, the bomb pass, and he couldn't do it. It was just a little underthrown. He was kind of running away from the ball, so... You know, tough break for Oshkosh there. Yeah, that ball just dying in the air. Trent Scott on the pick. He had two of those in 2021, majoring in business administration, and he gave Kobe Berghammer the business there. Let's talk a little bit more about Kate Hummel, who actually just made that three. She's having a pretty good season for a freshman. We're talking about somebody who's getting a lot of minutes. She'll give you six a game, 44% from the field, 26% from beyond the arc. Against lacrosse, it's a picture-perfect matchup. She is on fire against the Eagles. We've got those numbers in gold there. I mean, she's doubling in points. She's shooting way more efficiently from the field. She's 50% from beyond the arc and once again today she's having her way from beyond the arc. One for three against the Eagles. Kate Hummel's got this team's number Emma and we're seeing it now. First Sparks of Titan TV Sports here with UW Oshkosh men's basketball head coach Matt Lewis. Coach you talked to me earlier this week about how this place felt like home since day one. Five years ago when you took over as head coach and when you were an assistant six years prior. You're off to the Sweet 16. How sweet is it? Uh, this is special. Um, to, to get to play one more game with these guys again next week. The amount that they've invested, the, the passion they played with tonight. Um, this Oshkosh is a special place, and, and I'm really excited for this group that we get to continue together in the month of March. Extending the careers of those seniors, and then finally, 
in 21 hours you're facing Hope. What are the plans? I'm assuming not a whole lot of sleep. No, if I get an hour, we'll be lucky. <laughs> all right. Team's first appearance since 2019 to the Sweet 16 when you guys won it all. How special is it for you to have Levi Borchert, Eric Peterson, and Hunter Plowman for at least one more game? Yeah, our focus is on this year. We don't worry about the past. We don't worry about the future. We're just trying to enjoy the moment that we're in. And right now, we just had a pretty awesome freaking moment as a team. And, and we're going to go and celebrate, enjoy it, and we're going to regroup, and we're going to keep freaking dancing. Keep freaking dancing. Thank you, Coach. Thank you.